Uh, hi guys. So, uh, so today our lecture is going to be on uh, the, I mean the second part of uh, system by log arrays. And uh, I would like to uh, tell you one thing guys. Um, I want you to take to take you people through all the corners of the system by log arrays and uh, I want to make it elaborate. Like whatever, uh, whatever may be the topic I wanted to cover uh, in all different ways of uh, using these arrays and uh, uh, how you can use these arrays and what are the methods and uh, uh, what are the problems and the what are the uh, like how are you going to use them and uh, so so that's why uh, as I have already explained there are uh, three types of arrays like dynamic arrays, associative arrays and queues and uh, uh, guys every whatever the top whatever topic you take you have to be perfect in them like we can't tell even though you are you have completed all the all the lectures or you have you have uh, read many books but uh, you would be lacking in some some point so uh, that that can be anything like if you get to the if you get into the real world scenarios only you'll be coming to understand like uh, in what you're lacking so it's better to have uh, each and every concept that belongs to each and every type of these arrays not only to, not only with respect to arrays it can be any other concept as well so i would like to uh, extend the arrays topics to two more videos it means like uh, this video is going to be only on the dynamic arrays so uh, yeah I, I would like to take you through uh, all the all the corner cases all the corners of the dynamic arrays so that's why i've been uh, extending it to two more videos and uh, uh, I would like not. I would like not to uh, delay these videos as well. Uh, I'll be posting them uh, very soon since uh, they are about uh, associative and uh, queues, and you should not have uh, any gap in learning or learning them. Okay, so let's get started with the dynamic arrays. And guys, like whatever we have discussed uh, in the previous, I mean the part one of uh, system where log arrays is nothing but the static arrays. Okay, all those are static arrays, the packed and unpacked arrays comes under the static arrays and uh, we have been discussing where to use and uh, what is the difference of uh, using them, like uh, what is the difference between them and what is what are the dynamic arrays as well. So uh, this lecture is going to be on dynamic arrays and we are going to see them in elaborate. Okay, so dynamic arrays. So we have a dynamic array which is a one dimension of an unpacked array whose size can be set or changed at runtime. So remember this guys, which a size can be, a dynamic array size can be set or changed only at runtime, okay. The space for a dynamic array doesn't exist until the array is explicitly created at runtime, okay. So there won't be any space for the uh, dynamic array until the array is explicitly created at runtime only, okay. So this is the example for uh, creating, I mean the syntax of uh, the dynamic array creation, the data type and uh, the array name and uh, using square brackets we are going to represent the dynamic arrays. Uh, where the data type is, the data type of the array elements and dynamic arrays uh, support the same type as fixed size arrays and uh, these are the examples like for bit 3 down to 0 nibble is a dynamic array of 4 bit vector and uh, integer mem is a dynamic array of integers. The new operator is used to set or change the size of the array. The size built-in method returns the current size of the array. The delete built-in method cle clears all the elements yielding an empty array, which shows size zero if there is no elements in that. Okay, so whenever you are going to initialize uh, uh, the dynamic array, we are going to use the new operator and use this with the square brackets. And uh, and the below are the uh, the functions, the size and delete are the uh, array methods we use to know the size of the uh, the current size of the dynamic array and to delete the elements of the dynamic array. If there are no elements in the dynamic array and it show the uh, the size option shows uh, zero size. Okay. Uh, the new uh, the expression that you give inside is the operator is used to set or change the size of the array. Okay. That the size built-in method returns the current size of the array as we discussed now, and the delete built-in method clears all the elements yielding an empty array. The number of elements in the array must be a non-negative integer integral expression, an array with which to initialize the new array. If it is not specified, the elements of the newly allocated array are initialized to their default values. This array identifier must be a dynamic array of the same data type 
as the array on the left hand side which uh, which I have shown in the example, but it uh, needed to have the same size hierarchical, it, it should have the same size. Okay. So, uh, as I shown below the hierarchical dynamic array variable identifier is equal to di the dynamic array, the new dynamic array. Okay. So, if the size of this uh, array is less than the size of the new array, the extra elements shall be initialized to their default value. Okay. So, if the size of the array is very much less than the size of the new array which you are going to uh, later, uh, later declare, then the extra element shall be initialized to their default values. If the size of this array is greater than the size of the new array, the additional element shall be ignored. Okay. Now, uh, double the array size preserving the previous values is uh, shown by the below, uh, below line, the address equal to new of 200 and the, and the address. So, previously the address used to have uh, some, some kind of elements uh, like consider example of some 10 or 20 and you have to and you wanted to add a few more elements like 200. So, what are we going to do here? We are using the new operator to initialize it again and you want to preserve the previous 20 values as well. So, that is why we have given the address after this uh, new operator square brackets. Okay. So, that is why this now the total elements in the uh, dynamic array will be 220. Okay. So, coming to the dynamic array methods, we have size, we have already discussed it. So, this is the syntax and the size method returns the current size of the dynamic array or 0 if the array has uh, not been created and uh, like integer j is equal to address dot size when you are saving the size of the array into an integer variable. Now, the address equal to new of address uh, in size into 4 and you are preserving the previous address as well, previous address elements as well. This is the quadruple address array. Okay. And uh, we have to note that the size method is equivalent to dollar length of address comma 1. Uh, so, there is the second one will be the delete function. This is a function void, it is a void function and uh, the delete method empty is the array resulting in a zero size array. Int a b is equal to new of n. This creates a temporary array of uh, size n. Okay. Now, we are going to uh, use the delete here a b dot delete. This deletes the array contents. Okay. If you are going to display the size, it, it shows zero here. And uh, the array assignments, uh, assigning to a fixed size unpacked array requires that the source at the target both b arrays with the same number of unpacked dimensions and the length of each dimension be the same. Okay. The assignment is done by assigning each element of the source array to the corresponding element of the target array which requires that the source and target arrays be a compatible type. So, you have to do the assigning assignment only if both the target and the source array are compatible. And compatible types are uh, types that are assignment compatible and uh, assigning fixed size unpacked arrays of uh, unequal size to one another shall result in a type check error. Okay. So, uh, for example, int a 10 down to 1, this is a fixed array of 10 elements and you have another int, int variable b 0, 0 down to 9. This is a fixed array of uh, 10 elements and int, uh, int variable c 24 down to 1, fixed size array of uh, 24 elements and if you are doing to uh, have some assignments a is equal to b this is okay because the compatible type is same in size which is of same same type and same size and when a is equal to c the type check error different uh, because it's a different size because you are going to you are you are making an assignment between a 10 and a 24 element uh, arrays here so that is why that is why there is a type check error here and uh, an array of ways can be assigned to an array of variables having the same number of unpacked dimensions and the same length for each of those dimensions and uh, vice versa. For example, we have a wire 32 bit uh, w 9 down to 0 and we, when you try to assign w is equal to a and in an initial block we have after 10 time units we are assigning w to b. A dynamic array can be assigned to a one dimensional fixed size array of a compatible type if the size of the dynamic array is same as the length of the fixed size array dimension. Unlike assigning with a fixed size array, this operator requires a runtime check that can result in an error. Since this, uh, since we are declaring it, if the check happens in the runtime, this uh, this is going to be an error. Okay. And uh, we have an another int variable here, 100 down to 1, which is of a fixed size array of 100 elements. And integer b, we have uh, integer b is equal to 
the dynamic array is equal to nu of 100 so you are going to initialize a 100 element dynamic array and you are having another dynamic array c which is of 8 elements now we are having some assignments here a is equal to b this is okay because compatible type and which are, and it is of same size and when uh, when you try to assign c equal to a a equal to c the type check error is different because of different sizes okay a dynamic array or a one dimensional fixed size array can be assigned to a dynamic array of a compatible type in this case, the assignment creates a new dynamic array with a size equal to the length of the fixed size array. So, you have a int variable a 100 down to 1 which is a fixed size array of 100 elements and you have a dynamic array b which, which is empty now and the dynamic array c which is equal to new of 8 which has a newly initialized 8 elements and uh, you have some assignments here b is equal to a which is okay because b has 100 elements and uh, since b does not have anything so the, the assignment is possible and when b is equal to c this is also okay because b has 8 elements now ok. <clears throat> so this can also be equal to b is equal to new of c dot size into c. So this is what you are doing right you are uh, uh, like we have seen this syntax before like when you want to preserve the previous elements and similarly the source of an assignment can be a complex expression involving array slices or uh, concatenations which is of uh, string d 1 down to 5 is equal to we are giving some uh, string literals a b c d and e and you have another string dynamic array p where p is equal to d of 1 down to 3 and uh, we have uh, hello and you have d 4 down to 5 this creates a dynamic array p with, con con with the contents a b c hello and d and e ok. Guys, all these concepts are uh, you have to keep in your mind so that whenever you whenever you get to some uh, uh, real real scenario, you have to be ready to use all these. Only then it means that uh, all these concepts are in your mind and you have understood all these concepts. If you are uh, not able to use them in uh, right way, then it means that you you are not aware like, or you are not. Uh, having the grip on these concepts okay Wh whoever guys either you or me we have like everyone stays under a process of learning only so don't think that uh, you don't know anything or don't don't be uh, like you you know everything okay both are not not good so always try to learn something new and uh, which helps you a lot okay so arrays and arguments arrays can be passed as arguments to tasks or functions as well the rules that govern uh, array argument passing by value are the same as for uh, the array assignment and uh, the arrays can be passed as arguments to tasks or functions we have uh, seen before. The rules uh, that govern the I think it has been uh, pasted twice sorry for that and uh, so note that uh, the unsized dimensions can occur in a dynamic array and in formal arguments of uh, import dpi functions. If one dimension of a formal is unsized then uh, any size of the corresponding dimensions of an actual is accepted. For example, task function int a 3 down to 1 and 3 down to 1 and uh, this accepts a dynamic array as an argument. Uh, a declares, uh, decla which declares a task function uh, that takes one argument, a two dimensional array with each dimensions of the size 3. A call to fun must pass a two dimensional array and with the same dimension size 3 for all the dimensions int b 3 down to 1 and 3 down to 1 which is ok same type dimensions and the size and uh, we have another integer b 1 down to 3 and 0 down to 2 which is also ok which is of same because it is of same type dimension and uh, size with the size different which is of different ranges when you have a register b 3 down to 1 3 down to 1 this is also ok because the assignment is compatible type and uh, we have an event variable b 3 down to 1 and 3 down to 1 which is error in incompatible type and uh, integer b 3 down to 1 which is an error because uh, incompatible number of dimensions you have been provided here and uh, integer b 3 down to 1 and 4 down to 1 which is uh, which is also an error of incompatible size ok and uh, a subroutine that accepts a one dimensional fixed size array can also be passed a dynamic array of a compatible type of the same size and you have another uh, task here which is a bar and uh, we are accepting a string. Uh, string array 4 down to 1 this declares a task that accepts one argument an array of 4 strings ok and uh, you, so you have a string b 4 down to 1 which is ok because of same type and size and uh, string b 5 down to 2 
which is okay because uh, it is of same type and size. So, guys, these are all uh, the arguments that you can pass. Or that is what we are discussing after every example of the uh, subroutine, the function or a task. Okay, and the another one is uh, string b dynamic array is equal to new four. This is also okay because same type and same size and requires uh, the runtime check. A subroutine that accepts a dynamic array can be passed a dynamic array of a compatible type or a one dimensional fixed size array of a compatible type. You have another task here which is a foo and a string, it's, it accepts a string argument array. Uh, it declares a task that accepts one argument a dynamic array of strings. So, this task, uh, this task can accept any one dimensional array of strings of any dynamic array of the strings. Okay. So, uh, so that's all guys. Uh, this is what uh, uh, I wanted to explain you because this is this, it's, this itself a, a huge topic and you need time to go through all these concepts and practice practice as well because pra only practice makes man perfect and you have to practice all these things and uh, if uh, in the initial in the initial stages itself if the, if the lecture is of uh, one hours or two hours I don't think so you'll be getting interest to uh, watch or learn. Okay, so I have I have been divided into uh, three parts or four parts. Okay, so so guys, please take time to uh, learn all the concepts uh, very well, so that uh, you should not miss any of them when you get right time to use them. Okay, yeah. Uh, so thanks, guys, and please ping me anytime. And uh, uh, no, if you have any doubts, you can ping me. You can even comment uh, in the comment in the comment section. Okay, yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.